Campaign Cash. Prime Minister Najib Razak heads the 1MDB Advisory Board. In 2012, 1MDB paid about $740 million to buy a power plant from a big Malaysian corporation called Genting Group. Soon after, both 1MDB and Genting said the plant was worth much less than what 1MDB paid. Genting subsequently donated around $10 million to a foundation whose chairman is also Prime Minister Najib. During a tight election campaign, the Prime Minister announced a donation of $660,000 by the foundation to two schools in a key battleground state. 1MDB said it paid a fair price for the power plant. None of the parties involved would comment on the donation or the election spending. Prime Minister's Bank Accounts During the 2013 general election campaign, Malaysian investigators say nearly $700 million was deposited into the bank accounts of Prime Minister Najib Razak. Investigators don't know where the money came from, but say it moved among government agencies and companies linked to 1MDB before landing in Mr. Najib's accounts. It's also not clear what happened to the cash after that. Anti-corruption investigators in Malaysia later said the cash was a donation from the Middle East, but they didn't identify the donor. A spokesman said Mr. Najib did not take the money for his personal use. 1MDB says it is cooperating with investigators. Get me $3 billion and fast. In January 2013, a few months before the general election, Mr. Najib was in Davos, Switzerland, when he asked bankers at Goldman Sachs to help 1MDB borrow $3 billion quickly and quietly for a real estate project that never got off the ground. Goldman got the deal done in just two months by effectively writing a $3 billion check to 1MDB. Under the deal, Goldman took on the risk of selling the bonds privately to investors. Goldman earned more than $200 million, a huge payday for selling bonds which sparked questions about how and why the deal was done. Mr. Najib and 1MDB have denied wrongdoing and say they are cooperating with investigators. Goldman says its fees were fair. The Missing Billion In 2012, 1MDB bought power plants from Genting and another Malaysian company. To pay for the power plants, 1MDB sold $3.5 billion in bonds, which were guaranteed by the Gulf Emirate of Abu Dhabi. 1MDB said it paid Abu Dhabi $1.4 billion in collateral for the guarantee, and later it paid nearly $1 billion to unwind options tied to the deal. But officials in Abu Dhabi said they had never received the money. 1MDB said its auditor signed off on the transfers. Growing Scandal Today, 1MDB is struggling to pay off $11 billion of debt. The fund is facing criticism for overpaying for assets for money that's gone missing, and for failing to boost Malaysia's economic development. The scandal is reverberating through Malaysia's economy and its government. Its currency, the ringgit, is down 20% this year, in part due to 1MDB. There are at least four investigations inside the country. The 1MDB scandal has drawn global attention. The fund is under investigation in Switzerland, Singapore, Abu Dhabi, and the U.S., where the FBI is looking at cash that flowed through the U.S. banking system. Mr. Najib and 1MDB say they've done nothing wrong and are cooperating with the investigations. 